nestled on a 2.9 acre estate in Blenheim, Ontario. This two-story custom-built residence boasts five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, offering a perfect blend of luxury and functionality. Situated close to one of the region's largest marinas, it provides easy access to aquatic pursuits. Hello everyone, it is Sarah here. Let's welcome you to this majestic farmhouse with an expansive garden and a fabulous interior features. I cannot wait to show you what we have behind this house. We have a lot to cover, so let the tour begin. So here is the frontage of the house. There's a lot of area here at the front of the house and also at the back, which we're gonna show you later. Here we have a huge garden for animals and here you can put it for trailer or a truck. If you are a truck driver, we have two driveways. This driveway takes you to the house and that driveway takes you to the barn and all the areas there behind the house. So let's go and see the inside. So this is inside the house. We start with the foyer. Uh, of course, we have a huge ceiling here and also in the living area. Uh, on this side, we have the stairs that takes us to the bedroom. On the upper level, we have this house is two-story house with five bedroom and three bathrooms and also a finished basement. We're gonna show you later in the video. But this side, we have a bedroom. They have it as an office right now, but you can turn it to whatever you want. Oh, of course, we, I love the pieces that they have, all the vintage and unique pieces here. The furniture and also the art pieces on the wall. It's just so amazing and very unique. I like it. Uh, look at the carpet here. This is very beautiful. You know, it's a farmhouse. So they, they have to complete the vibes with all this uh, furniture. This is the living area. I love the atmosphere here the huge ceilings and also we have two picture windows here very huge it brings natural lights to this area all the day uh, it's just so amazing the space is so big here and also we have the railing here that we can see all the bedrooms from this side i love the view you can stand there and you can look at this area we're gonna show you the kitchen later but you just look at all the amazing details and all the unique pieces here. I really love how high the ceiling is in here, and there's a lot of port lights all over the house. That's course, really nice. Of course, this is what I like about this part. The, the, the high ceilings, the unique pieces here, it just looks so amazing. So now let's go and show you the master bedroom that we have on this main floor. It is full suite here. We have well, we're gonna show you what we have there, but now let's go and take you to the very end of this amazing big size, huge ceilings, two big picture windows and also put lights on the ceilings. It is so big. We have big mirror here on this side and also we have a small vanity. And I love the huge sliding door. Of course, and this sliding door, we can, you can see the whole backyard from this side and also I've just seen a rabbit running from here. Just so interesting. This balcony is shared with the other with the other door for the, that takes you to the balcony of the living area. Here you have a very big seating area you can enjoy, especially in summer, it would look so nice. And you can enjoy the view on the front of the house. So now let's show you the other side of this master bedroom, which is we have the inner suite laundry and also we have a full bathroom. Here is the uh, walk-in closet very big walk-in closet fits for two people and also we have some cabinets here for storage and a sweet laundry all of these cabinets it's a very big size and very useful here is we have the master bathroom so big the area is so big i look at the carpet though we're not we're not missing the farmhouse vibes we have two sink here and a vanity as well stand-up shower and here we have the what a tub. And I love the light fixture on top of you. It's very nice. Yeah, this is very modern. This is the, yeah, only, the, only, this modern. Is the only modern yeah. piece. And also like the whole bathroom here is the only modern piece in this, um, in this house. But we have this carpet on the flooring that, that reminds you of the farmhouse here. And now let's go and continue to show you the kitchen. Hello everyone, it is safe here. Welcome to the kitchen. A mix of luxury and comfort, blended with 
The functional and drawer life is what we are experiencing in this piece of art open concept kitchen that emerges seamlessly with the living room, with the dining area, and a lot of space right here, and featuring a piece of art, countertops, an island in the middle, and a modern cabinets. This house is really amazing. It's one of the houses that really worth touring and worth showcasing in this channel. So as you can see, the space and the amount of piece arts in this house just gives, gives it its identity and the class and the rural life. Like even if you look at the flooring of this house, it's kind of give it that rustic look. And all of the furnitures in this house, like looking at this table right here, the dining area, we're gonna show you in a little bit. What we have in the basement, what we have behind the house, there's a lot of things to show in this house. So I cannot wait to show you all of it. Like look at this. You don't see all these like all often. It's something very unique. I mentioned this, this so I mentioned this so many times. Like all the vintage pieces here, the art, the art, the art pieces on the walls, and also the furnitures. Everything here just complete the vibes of the farmhouse. I agree with you. I'm just looking at the island. Like look here. Like these are very unique sway island. You can even like move this island. It's movable. There's tires right here. So you can move it, put it wherever you want. Like this is something really we don't, you don't see often. And just the way it looks, completes the elegant, completes the style of this house. You can see there's a lot of cabinets from the bottom to the ceiling. And the, the upper ones are glass cabinets, just like the way they're using it. It's just to, bring, to give like style and decor to the house. I think that's really amazing. Here, we have a penetry. It's a good size penetry as well. Uh, there is, a lot of cabinets here as well, a lot of lightings here. The granite countertop that matches with the one in the island right here. And here you have a nice drawing on top of the uh, the, the sink. I think that's really nice as well. Nice uh, light fixtures, like even if you look at the light fixtures. Look at the light fixtures. It's something so, rustic, yeah. vintage, gives that. By the way, like this house was built on 2016. So by looking at the stuff right here, you may think it's an old house, but it's not. It's a new house built recently, like 10 years more, less than 10 years ago, 2016. But the way that they have, like the style, the way they furnish this house, this they wanted to bring that up. They wanted you to make you feel like you're living in a vintage house. The dining table, it's wood, rustic, looks really nice with a classic chandelier on the top. And look at the art pieces. And what I love about this house is the big windows. Like, look at this door. It's a, it opens up to battery area, it's, it's a huge. Uh, this is a second entrance for the house from the back and the, uh, the, ba the, ba the balcony on the top at the same time the patio on the bottom right here connects the whole house so it opens from the right to the left so you can you can access the master bedroom we're going to show it to you in a little bit from here so it's really connected you can go anywhere from here here you, they have just uh, a barbecue and, area. And, and I like that just by standing here on this side, you can look at all these smells behind the, behind the house. Yes, the, the smells I are I like really the nice. view. So let's continue. Here you have the second entrance, just like the one I told you, like you have an entrance from this side and an entrance to the backyard. You have some storage right here on this side. And this is the door for the garage. It's a two car attached garage. That's very good size. And what I love about this garage that it has a high ceiling and it has two doors, like door from this side and door from the left side. So if you have a vehicle that you wanna to bring to the backyard, that's one way to bring it to the backyard. And that's really interesting. Walking back from this aisle takes you to the powder bathroom. Again, look at the vanity. Like since when have you seen a vanity like this in a 2016 house? You just can't. Just I think you mostly see all of these furniture in the movies or the series that you see, like, you know, this is like an old or vintage stuff. You can find everything here in this house. Yeah, like you're not just buying a house, you're buying a feelings, you're buying more than a house. And before we go and show you the basement, the basement, like it's an entertainment area. They have a lot of fun, a lot of things to show in the basement. We're gonna go and show you the upper floor first. But before we do all of this, I want you guys to go and subscribe to our channel because this year we have a goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers. And if we did that, we're gonna do a huge giveaway, giving away three iPhones. So make sure you subscribe and leave us a comment. We're gonna be counting comments from this video. Now let's go and continue the tour. Nothing could ever keep, keep. 
Now let's go and take you to the second level where we have all the bedrooms. Uh, I like this, the classic wood staircase here and also look at the classic uh, lights fixture here or the chandelier. And look at the scale, like the place here is really huge. You can look from both sides. So if you see from this side, you will see the whole living area, the dining area, and also the kitchen. And also you can view the backyard of the, of the house. The view here just looks so amazing. And also you can see the mill from this side. The mill and your rustic van. And look at the <laughs> van, yeah. <laughs> here on the left side, we have the two bedrooms. Here it says one way or another. We're gonna show you what this hint is for. This is the first bedroom with the three picture windows, so big, brings natural light to the, to the bedroom. Look at the, all the vibes, the color for the art pieces and also all the colors here, just so amazing. The size is very good and also the light picture. And now let's show you what the sign outside means. So go and meet me from that side. So this is the one way or another. So you can end up here on both ways. Here we have four doors that separate both bedrooms. Here it could be a walk-in closet for this bedroom and also there's a slide door here that separates this bathroom from this bedroom or that bedroom. And also it's shared at the same time. It's a good size bathroom. And here we have the walk-in closet for this second bedroom here. It's a good size, so colorful. I like all the colors here. Um, the, here we have a balcony. The big door here and also the window brings natural light and here you can view the whole backyard from this and side. What I love about these balconies is just like the one is in the main floor, it's connected to the other side of the house. Exactly. So from this side you can go to the other side. Exactly. And also at the same time, if you are living here and you have your sibling there, you can meet in the balcony. You can have some, you know... Chatting or parking. Some chatting. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's so nice. So now let's go and show you the other part of the second floor so as we showed you on the main floor the first master bedroom it has it in its own in a suite laundry and this is the other laundries for the whole house and this is just a walk-in closet so this aisle this side of the house is exactly identical to the other side of the house yes and here is the bedroom and this is the balcony that we talked about this is the shared balcony with the other bedroom on that side this is exactly the same as that side and one way or another it's here exactly is exactly the same, the same. <laughs> here is the second walk-in closet for this bedroom as you can see the bedroom size is very fair very good and don't forget about the uh, lights fixtures here we have two big picture windows here that you can view the whole frontage of the house Welcome to the basement. This is one of my favorite parts of this house. It's an entertainment space. My favorite part is behind the house. So we're gonna show that in a bit. But for now, let's really appreciate and look what they have done in this basement. So here is just a cold room. There's not a lot here, just a cold room. You can store your food or things here. This is just an open concept, full basement, a very high ceiling, a lot of big windows in this basement. At the same time, there's a lot of pot lights surrounding the whole place. This is just a table for six people with a very nice piece of art on the wall. And if you look here, you have two bedrooms, but they use the bedrooms differently. So this is one of the bedrooms. This one has been used as a gym. So you have your sauna here, you have the can place right here, and also you have some little gym, like a lot of good equipments here. And again, these are the two big windows that I mentioned on this bedroom. Like usually on two-story houses, we don't see big windows like these, but in this one, they have a very high ceiling and a big windows as well. Uh, so right now, uh, let's take a look at, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the last bedroom to the end. There's a special thing in it, so I'm gonna leave it to the end. Right now, let's take a look at what we have here. So this is the mechanic room, but we have here a whole entertainment place. You can throw in a party right here. You have a pool table right here and with some very nice, interesting machines to play and do some games in this place. I think this is a great place for, for throwing a party, for enjoying, for having fun, because after having a, a three acre house, you could do a lot of things in it. That's one of the things you could do. And that's the, one of the ways you can use your basement. 
you have a table tennis right here. That's just to show the scale. Like these stuff are huge, full size with table tennis, and we're still walking here perfectly fine. Here you have a place to play poker, play cards, you can do whatever. And this is your seating area with a nice TV. And again, look at the furniture. Look at the rustic table right here. Like, I don't know where they got this from. So what do you think of this place? I'm not sure where they got all of these pieces, but actually it, they are just so good. They are so good. They are really contributing a lot. I think there's lot. so many people who are, are going to ask the same questions. Like, where did you get all of these pieces? I know, stuff? right? They're <laughs> just, but they contribute a lot like to the overall identity of this house. Like, it's a farmhouse. You can see a lot of things that showcase that's a farmhouse, like what we have here. Like, everything shows like you're living in a farmhouse even though the house is built in 2016, so it's fairly new. And right now I'll show you the last bedroom on this basement. So here you have like a sewing place, a lot of different machines. I'm not really a, a pro in this stuff, so, but I'm gonna show you what we have. Like this is a rustic machine, there's a lot of machines. It's not only sewing, it also you have there like a, a, like a printing machine that can print on shirts or, or uh, mags or dishes, all this stuff. I think Sarah is better to talk about this bedroom than me, so you know it's better than this stuff. Uh, Sarah, what is this? This is, an, this is a, an area for, you know, an acrylic nails or all the nail polishing, everything here you have. This is just so amazing for so many women. It's very nice like they, that they have a special place for everything like this place and i like the this. colors i like the colors of this bedroom it's just so colorful and gives you all the vibes of sewing and printing nail polishing yeah even the lights like they are commercial lights and again keep in mind the four big windows in the basement brings a lot of natural light and you don't even feel that you are inside a basement i think that's amazing and that's what we have for the basement so right now let's go and take a look about what's behind this house let's go